contracted by a small record company up in Buffalo called Old Bear Records. And uh, they, for better or worse, had come to know me both as a science fiction writer and as someone who had made this album, Twice Upon a Rock. So they asked me, hey, would you like to come into our studio and record a brand new album? Of course, you need to have written some science fiction songs because they wanted the album to be a combination of my work as a singer and songwriter, but also as a science fiction writer. So what came out of that is some of what you're going to hear today. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, people who play guitar, piano, and drums, they're still up in Buffalo. Uh, but we do have uh, the backing tracks, which will appear on the album. It's called Welcome Up, Songs of Space and Time. That's going to be released in early If I travel to the past to change your mind So you love me then and you love me now Would I have known to travel back in the first place If I travel back so fast if the world was wide could I slip through time? Could I slip the vine? A paradox that turns the best into the worst case. It ain't simple, it ain't right. To turn the sun to the darkest night. Make it work just one time. I could have it all, I could have it in mind. If I travel to the past, no, I'd never tell a single soul my lips would be sealed. Except when they brush against your sweet face. If I travel to the past to change your mind, so you love me then and you love me now. How did I know to travel back in the first place? No, it ain't simple, it ain't right To turn the sun to the darkest night Make it work just one time I could have it all, I could make you mine Only I could travel back through I wrote that song with John Anilio. If his name sounds familiar to you, he uh, himself is a songwriter, and he also has a podcast called The Functional Nerds Podcast, and he's also a science fiction author. And I wrote that actually with him at the end of 2010. So as long as we're uh, doing uh, Levinson Anilio compositions, since I, that first song was about time travel, here's something that's about space travel called Toss Setting. <laughs> Toss Setty, all oh, you let me go too fast to go my past. The winds in the face of the sheer cosmic space. I said he your doors met me I open wide and a bright through the swirls to the gates of an unfathomed place Everything's bright at the speed of light But I can't tell if it's cloudy or clear Played on sand we can only know what we already but he never took the spaceship out here. Ty said he'd go for 
seven on this course found and lost. I came to your chill of my own free will. Thou said it, don't forget me when I leave just the leaf. There was a little accordion at the end of that. There was a little bit of accordion at the end of uh, the first one. That's played by someone whose name is Don Frankel, who played keyboard on my 1972 Twice Upon a Rhyme album. And what happened was he was like so excited by that back in 1972, he locked himself in a closet and did nothing but like practice accordion for all these years, so he was able to play uh, those parts. Uh, this next song is a song that I wrote um, all uh, by myself. Uh, I did start writing it like maybe around 2005, but when I knew I was going in and recording this album, I quickly finished it up in late 2018. <laughs> Samantha, can't you see? There's no way you're loving me. Gonna work for you. Yeah, it's sad but true. Samantha, fantasy is so sweet when it's free. But I'll be past too. Not much we can do. You come from an alternate dimension That's what makes you so easy That's what puts me on the seat You come from an infinite extension They'll put you back there any time
charming talks uh, on the talk. Sound a little bit like Neil Young near the end. Uh, and um, I'll tell you who all the other musicians are when we uh, when I finish uh, all the songs. Uh, the next song is a really special song. I started writing this one in 1968, and uh, I was writing it about my girlfriend, uh, who I'm pointing at. Uh, she's actually no longer my girlfriend. She's been my wife since 1976. But the thing is, uh, I didn't finish the song back then. In fact, all I did is I wrote a verse and, you know, that's how it is with songwriting. Sometimes you write something and, uh, you know, you just don't know where to go with it. And uh, I, I was daydreaming on a bus in New York a couple of weeks later. Paul McCartney came to me in this daydream and he gave me the next line. Um, but that's all he gave me, so thanks, Paul. So all I had was one verse and one line. Anyway, when I knew I was recording uh, this new album, Welcome Up, uh, Tina said to me, hey, don't you think it's time you finish that song already? Fortunately, she hadn't held it against me all these years that I didn't finish uh, the song until then, but I did uh, finally finish the song called Welcome Up. Hiding behind a raindrop, shyly opening my sweet little chocolate eyes, sleepily peeking at my dreams at times of size. Welcome up. Stories below her window, she sees.
You'll hear lots of harmony there. Uh, those harmonies are done by Chris Huizington, who also produced uh, this uh, album. And uh, while we're at it, uh, the person who played most of the keyboards and all of the drums, very talented drummer, also from Buffalo, Steve uh, Patton. And um, Chris Huizington's brother, Anthony, uh, played keyboard on Torsetti. So th this next song has, a, a, in some ways, an even stranger story. This song goes back also to 1968. That was a good year for me. And in that year, I wrote a song called Cloudy Sunday. I was just a young kid. I was like two years old back then. I was a little older. But I wrote it with someone uh, whose name was then Linda Kaplan. In fact, I wrote a few songs with Linda. She went on to get married to a guy by the name of Thaler, so now her name is Linda Kaplan Thaler. Uh, but even more or less in, uh, important than that, she uh, wrote the Toys R Us jingle. You know, I'm a Toys R Us kid, I don't want to grow up. And she became like president of a hugely important advertising firm. Um, so this is a song we wrote together uh, in 1968. I went into the studio then and recorded a demo uh, and uh, with, with me singing. And um, that demo survived on a really uh, scratchy, uh, old, dusty acetate. And so when I was talking to the people at Old Bear Records, I said, hey, you know, because they, they said they heard that song, they loved it. I said, why don't we use that acetate and make that the, uh, the sort of foundation of my recording, Cloudy Sunday. So you're not going to hear the full thing because there is no version of all the new stuff that we put in uh, you know, with my original voice. But uh, what you're going to hear is uh, the original track, which consists of two people playing just two instruments. One, a piano player by the name of Barbara Krupnik. She also got married, so she's, I guess, now known as Barbara Krupnik Turchin. And uh, the other instrument is a guitar, and it's played by someone uh, by the name of Peter Rosenthal who played guitar on all the songs on Twice Upon a Rhyme, and also wrote two songs with me in the year 2000, which I'll play for you if we have enough time. Sunday, 
Reflection of me or something more real. Cloudy Sunday. Think of a place far away as can be I'd still be thinking of you Way out in space Beyond any sea You'd still be the dream that was true Round Alpha Centauri You're still the most beautiful star Round Alpha Centauri, our love can reach that far. Our love can reach that far. Light years from home, far away as can be, but I could be back in a flash. Worlds that I've known mean nothing to me. Hey, baby, you don't have to ask. Cause round the Alpha Centauri, you're still the most beautiful star. Around the Alpha Centauri, our love can reach that far. Our love. Round Alpha Centauri, I'll send you my story Till I am no longer away Round Alpha Centauri, there's no need to worry My love will go stronger each day Round Alpha Centauri, you're still the most beautiful star. Around the Alpha Centauri, our love can reach that far. Our love can reach that far. song for you. This was another song that I wrote with, maybe two, we'll see how fast this song goes, but definitely one. This song I also wrote with Peter Rosenthal back in 2000. It might be stretching it a little to say this is a science fiction or fantasy song. You can decide. It's called I Knew You by Heart.
like we would never apart. I knew you by heart. I knew you by heart. That plays on your face when I'm touching your cheek. The way it falls into place every time that we speak is way too strange to explain. But we're right as the rain, it's like we were never apart. I knew you by heart. I just by